Hey, what's up guys? This is Sohail from Unidog and today I'm going to show you how we can use UniPDF to create formatted paragraphs in the PDF file, how we can use any package and import it into our code, how we can create heading and subheading, how do we can add the text to the paragraph and what styles we can apply to our PDF text. So let's get started. First, we need to go to the Unidoc API documentation. I will attach the link in the description. And from there, we are going to select the recent version of the UniPDF. And here you can see the list of all the available packages. And to use any package, you can just click on the package. Since I am going to use the create package. So at the start of the package, you can see the import line. So I'm going to copy it. Don't close the documentation page yet because we are going to use it in our code. So we will come to this page later. So let's go to the coding part. Now, if we search for the Unidog playground, in the Unidog playground, we can write and execute the Golang code. We can also use the UniPDF without the license key. And you can see, you can run the code, you can save the code, you can even embed your code to any website, or you can download the code to your machine. You can also download or upload the PDF files from this playground. Start with our main package. Paste in the import line, create our main function. Now we need a PDF creator. So we will use this creator to create our first heading. So to create the heading, we need to create this chapter, new chapter, pass in the title. To apply different formats on the heading, text we need to get the heading from the chapter using get heading function let's set color of our heading from the creator variable we can access the commonly used colors if you want to see the list of all the commonly used colors go to the creator go to variables and here you can see all the commonly used colors you can even create your own color using this function with different RGB values. Let's also set the font size and draw our heading to the creator and write it into the file. So there we have a function write to file which will allow us to create the PDF file. Now if we run our program and here we can see our heading with the red color. Now let's add a subheading to our main heading. So to do that, we need to access the subchapter from the chapter. Subchapter, chapter, new subchapter. And now we can create our paragraph. There are two types of paragraph. In the created package one is where you can apply no styles and the other one is styled paragraph where you can apply the styles to your text I'm going to apply the styles on my text so I'm going to create a style paragraph from the creator and now to add the text let's also set the margins of the paragraph Set margins, left, right, top, bottom. To set the text of the paragraph, there are two functions. Set text and append function. This just replaces the whole text of a paragraph. Whereas the append function it adds the chunk of a text and both function returns 
the text chunk object. So within the text chunk, we have our text and we have our style. So if you want to see what styles we can apply, let's go to the documentation page within the creator you search type text chunk and here we have our text chunk and you as you can see we have our text and we have our style and to check what styles we can apply let's go to the text style so these are the available styles which we can apply to our text so let's apply some of the styles so any text on which you want to apply the styles you need to save that chunk to access the style variable so i'm going to use the append function to append some of my text to apply the color format and within the text chunk we can access the style and then color to set the color of this text let's also apply the font size to different text and now again the same way we are going to access the style and font size you can always double check and go to the documentation page to confirm the name to use them it's time to add our paragraph to our pdf file so let's add it after the subheading so subchapter add and our paragraph and now if we double check we have our subheading and we have our style paragraph and now if we run our program here you can see we have our main heading this is where we have our subheading and this is where we have our style paragraph and text chunks with the different styles that's it for today in the coming videos i will explain how we can merge or split pdf pages how we can extract text from the pdf pages how we can add digital signatures and there are many other topics which i will cover if you have any particular topic you want me to cover feel free to add that in the comment section and i hope to see you guys in the next videos